Here are three Notion AI tricks you didn't know, told to you in three minutes or less. Good luck to my editor. You don't actually have to make it less than three minutes. It can be like 350, it could be four minutes. I'm just trying to like be fun at the beginning of the video, Vinny, just letting you know. First and foremost, with Notion AI, you can either do slash AI and write things out with AI assist based off text that currently exists. But did you know that you can actually do slash AI and it would make content blocks? So if I press content block here, then with the help of AI, I want to have create five video ideas for Notion features, and then it can generate that in this AI block. Now within this, what do you have that's different? I can press update and then we'll do it again. And then here I can update everything within the AI block rather than needing to type out text and drag between all of these and then do AI assist. So whatever's in here is what's going to be improved. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make a new AI block. It's called a content block. What I'm gonna do is take this and I'm going to press generate and you'll see that it does exactly what the prompt said. So now in this, I am going to do something very unique, which is the second tip. So in Notion AI, you can obviously pick some text by example, like learn how to cook fried rice. And then you can take this and the AI assist options here allow you to use simpler language, help me edit, which are essentially a bunch of baseline prompts. But what you can instead do is ask it a custom prompt, which is something like this. So this AI ask, make this a thousand word YouTube script, I can then use within a content block. So if I click on this, look, make this a 1000 word YouTube script with vivid detail. Ooh, that's vivid. All right, now what you notice here, it actually reached a limit. So I'll have to refresh. This does happen sometimes. But what I can do is press this and type expand upon this writing and add more context. And what is a really nice workflow for all of this is say you took this out of the block itself, right? You have this text right here. You can take multiple steps of this prompt, right? And essentially write out sequences of AI text. So say you have a three step prompt that works really well for like writing blog posts, right? So. What you can do is you can take this text or take a beginning idea like highlight different ways Notion AI can help you streamline your workflow and do something like this. Take AI Assist and type out, write me five high performing SEO keywords based on this topic. All right, so we have five of them. So then we can do insert. Now, what we can do is we can highlight this, do AI Assist, and then say, write me a 1000 word blog post based on this. On the first bullet point, include the top five SEO ranked keywords in the bullet points below. You see what it's doing here? It's taking the context you give it and you're giving it in chunks. And that was a much better prompt. Now let's do insert. So you see what it did here was it actually didn't fully understand what I was saying. So what you could do is grab all this, right? Press AI assist. And then what you can do is if say you actually had this closer so you could get an eye on it, I think it might've actually implemented it decently well, but just to be sure we can highlight these, go to the top and then say, expand on this text with the keywords, Notion AI, automate repetitive, tasks actually it did do it but you see my point like you could tell it like make sure to keep doing it if that didn't actually end up implementing it i didn't read the headers very well clearly but essentially what i just did was i have two main notion ai things that i can do now so i can copy this go down here use ai assist tell it to write the performing keywords insert then hold on to all of it and then quickly write the thousand word blog post. So you keep the prompts going by basically taking the original ideation from the content block and expanding on upon it. So then I'm gonna do insert and then we can just delete the top five ranked SEO keywords and you can tweak the first two prompts so that it's even better. And you can add a third prompt, which could be expand upon this text with new ideas and comparisons to other applications. Okay, let's retry this. So let's do another 
prompt of write me a 1500 word blog post that expands upon this writing and compares it to other productivity apps. So it's slicing the information in another way so that it's not just talking about Notion AI, but also talking about how it works versus other applications. Then we do insert. You can see really quickly just how one basic ideation can turn into a lot of long text, just like you can see how quickly and easily I can go into the next video that you should watch to improve your productivity right here. That was smooth.